What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're going to be doing a super simple install for you guys. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be installing a Baja Designs light under the hood right here because if you guys are like me i do work on my own truck sometimes and sometimes it does get late at night and then once it does you can't see anything inside of course so adding a little light like this is actually going to help you out to be able to see at night so if you guys do end up wanting to purchase this at the end of the video go ahead and check out the description box below i'll make sure to link it and another thing i wanted to let you guys know if you guys haven't seen last week's video i'd recommend going to watch it it's going to be in the description box below it's actually really funny i took my family off road and we actually got some cool reactions. I think you guys will like it. So if you guys also want to see that, it'll be there. So let's go ahead and now get into the video and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So before we get into the installation, I want to show you guys what I have here. So basically what I ended up getting is one of these LED dome uh, light switches from Baja Designs. I just got one of them. Of course, if you want it brighter under the hood, you can go ahead and get two. And I believe uh, Running for Tacos actually makes one with a bracket, wiring harness and everything. So you don't have to do this many steps. As far as for me, I know right now they're out of stock. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this way for now. Down the road, maybe I'll switch it out. But back to the video. So I have this here. The only thing we're going to be using that comes in the package is going to be the actual light, which is here. The rest of it, that's for something else. We don't need that. So let's put that to the side. Up next, what I'm going to go ahead and use as well is going to be some of this 3M double-sided uh, Velcro tape. Um, that's all I have to work with. But what we're going to be doing is using it to go ahead and uh, mount it. So we're going to put it on one side and then the opposite side, we're going to actually stick it onto the truck. I'm going to probably put it around right there, which is the dead center of the hood. So that way when you open it up, it can light up this whole thing. Um, you can go ahead and put it wherever you want, of course, but that's where I'm going to be putting it. So the next thing that, of course, you're going to need is going to be a wiring harness. So I have this wiring harness here. This one here is actually just a homemade harness. It's going to have a positive, a negative. It's going to have the fuse and the two connections to connect to the actual light. If you guys do end up wanting this wiring harness, which is actually super clean and it looks like something you would actually purchase, um, go ahead and email me. I'll give you the contact on who made it for me and then you could purchase it through them. All right, you guys, so for the first step, you wanna go ahead and kind of just locate where you're gonna be installing it. For me, as I said, I want it kind of dead centered. Um, so I'm gonna be installing it in this section here. So basically what I did, I kind of cleaned it off and then I got some rubbing alcohol, wiped it down. And the reason why, because like I said, I'm gonna be using some double-sided tape. Um, this may not be for the long run. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out probably for the run for tacos one, because there'll be an actual bracket. This, I'm not sure how long it'll last, because since it is um, kind of, it gets hot in here because of the engine. Not sure if this double-sided sticky will stay on there forever, but for now it's gonna be a temporary fix. So let me go ahead and get the sticky on there. Let's do that. So I'm gonna put it right about there. Put some firm pressure on that thing. Of course, once you're satisfied with where your placement is, now you wanna go ahead and start with your wiring. So the Baja designs, um, they don't come uh, spliced. So you are gonna have to get some wire splicers and go ahead and splice them out. Uh, the red one, of course, is gonna be your positive. A black one is gonna be your negative. Um, once you splice them up, let's go ahead and now get our wiring harness. Uh, run it through and connect it and test it out. Make sure to stay tuned because we'll show you guys at night. But you guys, so for this next step, like I said, this wiring harness is homemade, but this is basically what you would get. Um, we're gonna go ahead and now install it. So let's go ahead and run it. So of course, uh, there is gonna be a red one with the fuse, which is gonna be the positive that goes connected to the battery. There's gonna be a negative, which we're gonna go ahead and ground off. Um, so let's kind of just put the wiring down for right now, and then let's run it exactly the way you're gonna want it. As far as for me, I'm gonna try to do it as clean as possible. Not sure if it's gonna be 100%, because of course, these lights aren't really meant for this. I'm just kind of makeshifting. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. Just so I could run the wire underneath. All right. Go ahead and put this back. All right. And right here, there's actually like a little, uh, a little push clip. You just get a flathead and it'll pop it right off just like that. And then you can go ahead and run the wire through there as well. Go ahead and put the push clip back on pops right in super easy 
And then right here, what I've done is, of course, this wiring harness right here, this wire loom, if you guys can see it on the camera, this is just going to my ditch lights. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie it to it, just so it kind of stays in place. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this wiring up. I've put a zip tie through here, so that way it stays in place as well. And you could do this many different ways. This is just the way I'm doing it. There is, of course, cleaner ways to do it. And then right here, what I'm gonna do, I wish this was a little bit more open because I would have ran it underneath, but I can't. But I'm gonna run it through here. And then I'll go ahead and put a zip tie there just so it stays in place. So just to update you guys, like I had said, the uh, red one here, which is gonna be connected to the positive of the battery, and then the black one, which is going to be the grounding wire, the negative, it's going to be connected right about here somewhere. Um, that's done, and now I've ran it through, as you can tell, it's zip tied, zip tied through here. Um, there is different methods. Um, if you could actually have some time and run it underneath the whole hood and just kind of bring it out through there and bring it up, that'd probably be your best bet because that way the wires are not exposed. Um, as far as for me, I'm just going to do it like this, just as temporary, like I told you guys. So we're here right now. Now all I got to do is just kind of connect uh, the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative and basically be done and then we'll go ahead and test it out at night. Alright, so I'm going to be using heat shrink. Um, the one on this side is just kind of like a crimping type of connector. Um, so basically with the heat shrink, I'm just going to put it just so that way it looks nice and clean after. All right, now that we're all done, let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks. So there's the light. I've run the wiring harness. It's all zip tied. Like I had said, you can run it different ways, maybe underneath, any other way. But make sure to stay tuned because I'll be redoing this, of course. So there it goes right there. I've now connected it to the battery. Let me go ahead and show you guys where it's connected exactly. But it's all done. So it's underneath here. Let me open that up. It is a little bit hard to open that rubber but it's right underneath. So there it is. There's the wiring harness that we ran. I ran it underneath that boot. Let me lift that. So there it is. That's the nut that I actually took off and I actually put it onto there. So now it's nice and connected. I know it's not gonna fall off. And then you could go ahead and put that back. And normally I don't connect it to the negative of the battery. I actually usually use that little bolt that's right there. Um, but right now I do have a lot connected to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this one to the negative of the battery, which is fine. So once that's all done, there it is. Let me go ahead and turn this on so you guys can see how it looks. I'm gonna show you guys at night, but I just wanna show you guys that it works. Push that button, turns on, push it again, and then it should turn off. Super easy, nothing too hard about this. Now that it's nighttime, I could go ahead and show you guys. So right now we're actually looking at the engine bay. As you can tell, you can't see anything. Let me go ahead and just switch this on really quick. And look at, voila, there you go. So like I said, um, this does help you guys out if you guys are gonna be working on your truck at night. And of course, I only have one of the Baja designs. Like I was telling you, I believe running for tacos makes one with a bracket, with two Baja designs, and an actual wiring harness. So that would probably be a little bit better as far as lighting, because then it would actually light up the whole thing. As you can tell, it is missing like a little spot there and back there, but overall, I mean, this actually helps out. It's like a flashlight on steroids now. So there we go. As you can tell, looks good. If you guys do end up wanting to get it, go ahead and check out the description box below if not i'll go ahead and uh, find the one from running for tacos and i'll link that one as well so yeah if you guys like today's video please make sure to like comment and subscribe see you guys